really lucky now to be able to produce any therapeutic shoe using any shoe of your choice from all inserts from now steel to aluminium and all as you can see in each case so everything I need therapeutic wise is in this container here shoe can be produced out of the van which has made it so much easier of being on site and doing it when the horse needs it and not having to go home, produce the shoe and then come back again. Everything can be done on the job. This is the welder I use. You can see it's stuck in the back of the van. Um, it does spool gun alley. It also does uh, a Euro torch, which is a MIG torch and also arc welds as well. It's a 200 amp welder, which gives you more than enough that you need. The other addition is a gas bottle, which is you have to use pure argon for aluminium. As you can see, I get it put away inside with my gas bottle all nice and secure. So the welder is situated in between the two bays. As you can see, I've got the MIG on one side, and I still carry my mini arc on the other side. Grinding and prepping all your joints on the aluminium. You must make sure that you leave one grinding disc just to do aluminium. If you mix and use a steel on aluminium you will cross contaminate it and your welds will not come out as good. So always use one grinding wheel just for aluminium. Always use a mask when grinding it. Aluminium grinding dust is horrible. It gets right down into your lungs. So I always put a face shield on and of course glasses just in case. But it's essential whenever you're grinding aluminium it's always put a mask on. And it does help once you've prepped all your joints up with the grinder it's do a final brush with a stainless steel wire brush. This again cleans it off. You can wipe it again once you've done this with the brush you can use acetone to do a final clean up. But I haven't found that necessary and I just give it a quick brush with the stainless steel. Explain why the spool gun is so useful for aluminium. With a normal MIG gun the wire has to feed from the machine all the way down the cord to the end of a normal big torch. So it's a long distance to come through and what you'll find with some machines that the, the wire will just snag up and do a bird's nest in the actual machine. In this case we've only got a short space for the actual wire to go through which is situated here to here to the end of the actual gun. So you've only got a short period here to be fed through. So you're unlikely then you're gonna get any burrs or any uh, bird's nest created in there and you're getting a complete clean feed right through to your weld. So that's why the spool gun is so much easier to use than your normal Euro torch. The most important thing is to carry lots of spare tips, MIG tips. What you get with aluminium is you get a burn back, which burns straight back into the tip, and then that tip is made useless. So always keep as many as you can of these tips. These are the 1.2, which I find is a lot, and I'm only running 8mm reel through this so 1.2 you've got plenty of space and you won't get so much problems
So here is the prep all done. Each individual piece has been ground out. As you can see here, we've got a nice beveled edge there. And I like to start welding on the inside of these because then your heat will then straight go straight through. And on this case, I will be just grinding on, uh, welding on the inside to here and then alter that back part then to match up with those heels. When you're welding on this part, you need to get yourself quite far back. Like, not like the, your normal steel MIG welding, you need to give yourself a distance. And with these actions, it's a push action. So I tend to weave, but I push into the weld. This gives the gas to actually, the shielding gas to actually go around and cover the weld you're producing. But it is a literally a push, and I prefer to do, it's just my personal preference, and I will weave that, but in a push motion. all welded up so it's very quick you don't have to take it doesn't take very long just to zap it up you'll probably take more time in doing your preparation than you do the welding so this is another alternative of uh, fitting a normal part bar which is flatten the surface along with the shoe if you need to then put more frog pressure on and if you've got a frog that's disappearing inside the foot we can actually fit these up so that you have a better frog pressure so to do this procedure I find it really helpful in using copper strips so when you actually want to come off of the surface you can fit the copper strips in fit your heart bar in and then you are all prepped up ready to give yourself a gap underneath ready for welding up so it preps it all up small little shims there we just hold it in place there we are, all welded up and finished. You can see we've got a positive heart bar. So we're putting the pressure straight on. So the blade I use is this is only a, a cheap band saw, uh, not much money. I use a wood cutting saw with it, a, a rip saw. You can see it cuts through the uh, six mil to eight mil aluminium. You can make whatever shape you want with this. I use it with the uh, with the rail shoe and with the other type of rail shoe, the box rail shoe. Um, I always make it, cut them up in the forge, so I got them all prepped up and ready to go. Basically, I haven't got room in the van for this saw, but it's only cheap, but it, it, it cuts aluminium very, very well.
can say with with doing any type of the welding whether it's uh, your steel or, or aluminium is practice that's all it takes you just got to keep repeating and repeating and find the way you are comfortable and what what settings you prefer all machines are very different I can't tell you a, the ideal setting because all different uh, there depends on the voltage and where you are at the time they do take a lot of adjustment but practice is your only way is to get scrap pieces and just keep going over and over and over until you get confident get yourself when you're welding get yourself comfortable um, don't be in a position where you're you're uncomfortable and having to struggle um, yeah and just practice